Hey what is up guys in this video i am going to show you how to do cmyk plus spot color separation in photoshop for screen printing also i am going to give you my complete half tone section set for free which you can use to create half tones in photoshop very easily this is the image that we are going to use to learn about cmyk plus spot color separation we will separate it into five colors cyan magenta yellow black and this spot color red this is a half tone preview of the final result. First, I'll show you how to separate the colors and then how to convert it into half tones for CMYK process. So, let's dive right into the video. I've given the website link from where I have downloaded this image. Download and open the image in Photoshop. This image has a lot of colors and is perfect for a CMYK print. Let us assume we will print this on a white color t shirt. First, let's set the print size and resolution. Go to image, image size. Set the resolution to 300 dpi. Make sure the link icon is checked. Now set the print width. I'll set 20 cm width. The height value has changed automatically proportionate to the width value we entered. Now hit OK to apply the changes. I'll zoom out a bit. At this point, we should do image enhancement techniques like levels adjustment, vibrance adjustment and image sharpening. I'm skipping those steps as the main focus of this video is to add a spot color with the CMYK colors. So now let's start the color separation process. CMYK separations are the easiest separations to do. All we need to do is go to image, mode and then choose CMYK color. Hit OK. Now look at the channels panel. We got CMYK channels now. These are our CMYK separations. In this artwork, there is a bright red color. We will get the red color when magenta and yellow are mixed. But we can't say for sure that we will get this exact shade of red. If we match the magenta and yellow colors in the press to get this shade of red, then we will not be able to match the colors in the image with the original image. So in this case, we can make a separate screen for this red color alone. So we can match the magenta and the yellow colors in the press to get the colors in the image without worrying about the bright red color. What we need to do is separate this red color and then remove the color from the CMYK channels. To select the red color, choose the magic wand tool. I'll zoom in a bit. Since the text is a non-vector and is merged with the image, there could be different shades of red color pixels. So to make sure we get all the pixels, set the tolerance to a very high value like 200. Uncheck the anti-alias, check contiguous. Now click on the red color to make a selection. Now hold the shift key and click on the other red color areas to add them to the selection. Now we have made a selection of the red color. Now click on this save selection as channel icon. Hit ctrl plus D to deselect the selection and hit ctrl plus I to invert the channel. I'll rename this channel as red. Now bring out the channel options. Change the color type to spot color and change the color to red if it is not red already. We want this red to be 100% opaque. So change the solidity to 100%. Now hit OK. I'll zoom out. So we have got the spot color red as a separate channel. Now we need to remove the red color from the CMYK channels. To do that, hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the red channel to make a selection. I'll hide the red channel for now. Now make only the cyan channel visible. Make sure the background color is white. If it is not, hit the D key to change the colors to the default black and white. Now hit control plus backspace to fill the selection with white. Make sure the white is 0%. You can check that in the info panel here. Now the same way, let's fill the selection with white in all the other CMYK channels. I make only the magenta channel visible. Now hit Ctrl plus backspace. Now select the yellow channel, Ctrl plus backspace. The same way, select the black channel and hit Ctrl plus backspace. So we have removed this spot color red from the CMYK channels. I'll deselect the selection. 
we need to trap this red color under the CMYK colors to avoid accurate registration in the press. We will do that after we convert the CMYK colors to half tones. So let's convert the CMYK colors to half tones. First, we need to increase the resolution of this document so that we get nice and round half tone dots. Go to image, image size, change the resolution to 600 dpi. We need to make sure we set the resample method to nearest neighbor to avoid anti-aliasing in the artwork. Now hit OK to apply the changes. If you haven't downloaded the free halftones actions yet, download it and load the actions in the actions panel and enable the button mode. Make only the cyan channel visible. Now run the action make halftones from channel. Set the output resolution same as the input resolution. Hit OK. The angle for cyan is 15 degrees. Set the frequency according to the mesh count you use for the screens and hit OK. Since we are running this action on the original CMYK channels, we will get this message. Just click continue. Now select only the magenta channel and run the action make half tones from channel. Output resolution same as input resolution. The angle for magenta is 75 degrees. Hit OK. Continue. Now select the yellow channel, run the action, make half tones from channel. The angle for yellow is 0 degrees. Now select the black channel, run make half tones from channel. The angle for black is 45 degrees. I'll make all the CMYK channels visible. This is our CMYK half tone preview. Now to trap the spot color red, make a selection of the red channel. Now go to select. I'll zoom in a bit. Now go to select, modify and then choose expand. A value of 2 pixels works well for a 600 dpi image. Now select the red channel. Now hit alt plus backspace to fill the selection with the foreground color black. I'll deselect the selection. I'll zoom out a bit. If we want to see a more accurate preview, then select the CMYK channels and go to filter, blur and then choose Gaussian blur. A radius value of 3 pixels works well for 600 dpi image. Hit OK. Now the dots will merge and give a more accurate preview of the result. I'll zoom in further. You can see the CMYK half tones formed a rosette pattern pleasing to the eye. Zoom out. So we have done the CMYK color separation with spot color. If you like to learn more about CMYK color separation, there are step by step tutorial videos available. I have given the video links in the description. Be sure to watch the videos. So in this video, I showed you how to do CMYK plus spot color separation in Photoshop for screen printing. Also, I have given you my complete half tones action set for free, which you can use to create half tones in Photoshop very easily. Hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Thanks guys. I'll see you in another video. Take care.